Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For any first time viewers, I'm Jesse Rebirth. This is part three of this Jurassic Park set. This thing is magnificent. It's huge. It is insane. So originally I was going to show you display one or display two without the fence and the plants, but it looks so bare and so naked without them that I just figured out ah, what the hell. We'll just do it only with the plants. Uh, there are some really old pictures at a, some type of Comic-Con where they were first putting this together. And they show, actually, the Comic-Con pictures were the whole thing. There was a picture, though, where they were first prototyping it and they had it without the plants. That's a pretty cool picture. But once you have it all said and done, the plants make it look really good. I do think some of these large leaf ones are kind of odd. I like the ones that are these smaller leaves. It makes it look more... Uh, realistic yeah more realistic and everything the fence is cool i do think if you clipped these wires though and made them a bit shorter because i mean they are supposed to have ripped apart i mean technically it shouldn't be as long as it is because they don't really fold they just kind of stay up and out and wherever they are but you can see this piece is massive. It's so exciting. I even brought my mom and my grandma over for them to see it right away. They're here right now. But this thing, we watched the scene so they could see exactly. They didn't quite remember what it was. But you can see right down here, we got the two feet, two footprints where he first steps through. And then he messes with the kids in the car while they're doing the light out the roof and everything. And Timmy's telling Lexi to stop it. And if you come over here, they're right here, down here, underneath. If you want to see how all this went, there's the second video that had set A. You can see that there's this fake broken glass with mud all over it. It's the top that the T-Rex broke, but it goes really good just in there. You can see the kids. You can see Alan Grant over here. we got Ian Malcolm, the car is really cool now the thing is is originally you could buy these well you still can you could buy it all separate but you couldn't get the ground or the fence parts either and if someone out there has it i would like to know because i feel like from seeing pictures now first off the t-rex is huge i did not think it was going to be this big i didn't think this either any of this was going to be this big it's not quite my wingspan but almost it has a little bit of a curve to it but I feel like if you were to get the T-Rex with just the base without the car and everything, he doesn't have this wet shine to him. I think that was part of this set because the car that's not in the set either doesn't look like it's all wet as well. It feels like they basically put this together without the plants and they took like a pot, like a clear liquid epoxy and just flicked it all over the whole set. because. As weird as that sounds, it absolutely works when you see it. I mean, they look like they're wet, fits the seam perfect, the rain, everything. And it's really cool because the feet print, the footprints are actually deep. And they filled it with clear liquid epoxy to make it look like there's water sitting in it because it goes deeper than what you can see. Uh, everything has this little bit of a sheen wetness to it. This part, I need to glue these in there, but we'll do that later. Uh, tiny little problem, nothing big. This little part up here came a little cracked too, and we'll have to glue that. But now I didn't really get around to it in the very first video, but you can see the car on this side lights up. The headlights come on. The inside, the TVs come on. You can't really tell, but it has two Jurassic Park logos on it. What I thought was really cool, if you look from the rear view mirror, you could see the little card hanging from it. You can see that on the steering wheel it has that plastic thing because you're not supposed to hold the steering wheel you can see the two drinking glasses in there they said they actually had to run a base cord under the dashboard and flick it to get the water to do that perfectly i only put one pamphlet back there but we'll end up getting all the pamphlets put in the back if you watch the second video you'll see that i just dumped the pamphlets under this car you can't really see them but in some of the promo pictures it was cool because they painted them like they were muddy which will do the same. But I mean, this piece is incredible. With the lights off, Karen and I took a bunch of pictures. 
You can see the tail lights light up on this side and there's one headlight because the other one's been smashed into the mud. But we have the, the little yellow lights up there too. It's cool, it lights up his foot, but I mean, this piece is massive. This thing is gigantic and these plants make it feel so natural and so cool. It's just, it has such a presence. Seeing it on video doesn't quite do it the justice it deserves. I mean, looking at the pictures of it, they're fun and cool, but you don't get the sheer mass, the scale of this. This thing is monstrous. There's cool little details. There's a, a little triceratops skeleton over here on the back. The bottom looks really nice. It looks kind of like a, a nice Batman piece down here, actually, where you can see right down here. Kind of reminds me of the Iron Studios Batman vs. Bane piece that we have. Iron Studios is killing it. I was just talking about Iron Studios actually has the Triceratops where it's sick and they're all around it. They have the the bronchi bronchiosaurus, bronchiosaurus, the, the long neck one that's standing up on its hind legs with uh, John Hammond, Alan Grant, and uh, Dr. Saddler, Ali Saddler. I think it was. Mm -hmm. They're all watching it reach up for the high up leaves. And then they had Lexi and Tim in the kitchen with the raptors. After seeing this piece, I guarantee those pieces are insane. The size of Lexi and Tim under the car, they're, you know, full size little one tenth human children. So I could just imagine the kitchen scene's probably pretty big. To me, it felt like $400 for that. It was going to be real small, but after seeing this, I always get these scales mixed up, but when you see the Iron Studios 110th Batman from BBS where he's pulling his glove on, I kept saying, well, if that Batman's that big, that's going to be about the size of Grant and Malcolm. The car has to be, you know, just kept trying to size this in my head. This thing is absolutely massive. It is gigantic. It is... Perfect for a living room setting, maybe like behind a couch, somewhere where someone's not going to bump it, because you got to be careful. The car does not hook on, it just sits on. The T-Rex is huge, but they have his tail that kind of curled out, because they can't have it just going back. Uh, that's a bumping hazard, you got to be careful there. Uh, other than that, though, if you got a nice huge table to put this on, they are actually sitting on the boxes they came in at the moment. Because it is way too big for my table that I always unbox everything on. Uh, if you did not see the other videos, set A is basically from right here over. Set B came with the middle ground to the end over. So set B, you only get the car, Malcolm and Grant, but you do get the extra connecting piece. While well, set A, you get the T-Rex, the car, you get everything else with it. I did check in case anyone was wondering. Uh, so I don't know what's happening with Chronicle Collectibles at the moment, but it seems like they're filing bankruptcy and a lot of people, that's actually where I got this from. I got this from Chronicle Collectibles and I've been sitting on this quite a while. We've had it for probably since last Christmas, maybe. It's been just kind of sitting there taking up some room. Uh, we did not open it till now. I was always kind of worried that I didn't open them right away, and then when I saw Chronicle Collectibles maybe disappearing, I just kind of thought, you know, I should get that open. Not that they could fix anything if it was broken now, but uh, uh, it's kind of scary because a lot of people have said they're worried they won't get their pieces. And I had mentioned before that Chronicle Collectibles actually had an exclusive license to carry all Jurassic Park merchandise of this sort for the United States. Now I don't know what happened with that because originally I tried to order this straight from Iron Studios Brazil. If my order went through and I was like, huh, that's good. And then they sent me a thing back saying, we can't fulfill your order. You have to order it through Chronicle because of the licensing. That seemed to kind of went by the wayside because you can now order things from Prime One that is Jurassic Park straight from their website. But uh, I mean, it's, it's a little scary that if you had something pre-ordered through Chronicle, I don't know what's going to happen with it. I saw probably about 400 comments of people worried about that same thing. Uh, Iron Studios is 
killing it. I absolutely love the one six Batman piece with Bane I have. I love the one tenth Batman, both Rebirth and BVS that we have, and now this just it takes the cake. This thing is incredible. It's technically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight large base pieces alone. Uh, two cars, the Rex, and you know, those two right there. She is huge as can be. Now, I have the Sideshow uh, King Tyrannosaurus or whatever that came with the half eaten other dinosaur. I used to think that thing was big. Now, this T Rex blows that one out of the water. This one is huge, it's magnificent, too. I once had the Chronicle Breakout T-Rex as well. I also, I think I did a video of that way early on. It was a good piece, but it was just kind of, when I seen this, it was like, it's time to move on. I sold that one. And uh, for good reason, this is probably the only T-Rex Jurassic Park piece I'll ever need because it's huge and it is incredible. But... Let me go ahead and show you some really cool close-up shots and show you some dark pictures and some things we did with it. And then I'll see you in a second. You can see how they just did the perfect amount. It looks like it's been rained on. Looks like the water's running down it. You can see the TVs with the lights on. You can't really tell. The switch is right back here underneath. Check it out. Jeep 5. Here's that little Triceratops skeleton I was telling you about under there. You can see its head and its body. Right under here is where we turn it on and off. It's pretty cool. Check out the license plate. You can see the open container. Let me see if I switch this off. You can kind of see. It's really hard. I'll have to put a picture of it, but it looks so cool on the wooden upholstery. Just incredible. You can see the... Yep. Very cool. Had to put these little antennas on. Got Ian Malcolm over there with his flare. He threw it but did not freeze. Dr. Grant right here. Very cool. The Dr. Grant statue in itself is just awesome. You can see him standing here in the mud with the track and the headlights on behind him. The and Malcolm just looks so cool. I'm telling you, you really don't get an idea of the presence of this piece until you see it in person. Those footprints too, just awesome. You're basically like maybe a half inch above of just pure epoxy in there. Where they connect and then we come over here you can see the kids in here. Alexi screaming. Tim in there. Just so cool. Car number four being smashed. You can see right here. Them on the side. You can kind of see some of the pamphlets. There's a bunch of pamphlets in there. And that's some of the fake broken glass under there with her. Uh, we got the tire that the T-Rex ate the rubber right off of it. Well, just kind of ripped it off. He didn't, she didn't eat it, but you can see all the crinkles of the car. It's so cool. And if we come over here, we see her foot stepping on the track right here. You see the front headlight, the other one's missing. Kind of come up here, look at the detail. The tail looks like it's wet, got it curled around. Got the wrinkle to the belly, just absolutely cool. You can see underneath her bottom. You can see her little tiny arms here. I really dig the way the arms look. It looks like, you know, she's ready to pounce. And she's got this huge roar. The eye is cool, I dig it. It'd look pretty good if it was glossed a little bit, maybe had some red in there, maybe some more reptile style. You can see down her mouth, it's actually pretty deep in there. You can fit your finger almost down there. So, I mean, they got the tongue and the throat, but this piece is just absolutely awesome. You can see from up above how it looks. It goes together very well. You can see here from the other side. 
little bit of an inside. Here's where she's stepping on the car. You can see the plants back here, kind of a backside view. T-Rex through it. Very cool. You can see what I was seeing, the top side of it. With those footprints, I really dig the footprints. They are just so cool with her. I mean, this piece is just wicked. And then when you get it in the dark with a, a light on it, you can make it look just like the scene from Jurassic Park. It's so cool. So cool. Let me see if I can kind of recreate that for you real quick. So here we are in the dark. I mean, the pictures capture it really well. I'll be putting some of those in here, but you can just see how those lights really stand out in the dark. Maybe when it's raining, we'll take it outside one day. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you can see her in the dark. She just looks so cool with Grant. Basically what Grant's seeing from down here. Yeah, she's just roaring in the dark. The, the headlights though with these kids in there, that just looks so cool. Kind of shadows them right there. But the lights really blare. I mean, they are bright lights for the camera, but in person, they're not that bad. See a Malcolm in the back over there. I think the pictures though really capture this well. So I'll put some pictures in here for you to see. But this piece, even in the dark, just absolutely beautiful. All right. Here it is with no light overhead. Can't really see much going on, but I do dig these headlights and tail lights. They're really cool. Very, very cool. Be cool if you could see her face, but you can't. Look in the car though with them. Very cool. Gives you a sense that it's raining. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is kind of recapturing a little bit of your childhood. I saw Jurassic Park in the theater back in the day. It was absolutely captivating. It is an incredible movie, even for its time. I think the puppets from Stan Winston look better than the new Jurassic World dinosaurs. That's just my opinion. I like the realness of it. I like seeing it interact with the actors and the scenery, all that stuff. I think that's partly why we all collect toys and statues. We like the realness of them, how they exist, or else you would just enjoy them purely in the movie. But this is kind of taking a little bit of the movie magic home with you. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this three-piece video. But most of all, keep buying toys. <laughs>